Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and for today's video, I will be sharing to you 11 ways to stay positive even during the toughest times. A lot of people pride themselves on being optimists. If you can st stay positive with everything that's going on in the world today. If you are one of them or going through equally tough times, remember that you always have a choice no matter what the circumstance may be. And choice is this. You can either choose to let panic feed on your mind and body and let it grow stronger at the expense of your life. Or you can choose to see your situation in per perspective, stay positive, and end the panic then and there. But how do you withstand the huge waves of crisis, let alone being positive about it? And while they are coming at you in breakneck speed, here are a few ways to consider. Number one, start your day in a positive way. How you start your day usually sets the tone for the rest of your day. So be careful about how you spend your mornings. If you get going at full speed, lost in future troubles in your mind, then the stress perceived loss of power of over your life and negative thoughts will ramp up quickly. If you on the other hand start your day by moving slowly, by having an uplifting conversation with your family or friend, or you spend some time with reading or listening to inspiring and helpful articles or podcasts over breakfast or during your bus ride to work, then that can make a big difference. Number two is go slowly i have found that when i go too fast when i try to think talk eat and move around in my world really quickly then things don't go too well stress builds up negative thoughts about just about anything start to well up and i feel like my own personal power decreases but if i slow down just for a few minutes even if i have the force it by walking talking and eating slower then my mind and body comes down too. It becomes easier to think things through clearly again and easier to find the optimistic and constructive perspective. Number three is take stock with meditation. Meditation on what really happened and your response to the crisis. Learn to see the crisis for what it really is. Begin by practicing breathing meditation and then ask yourself, what has really happened in spite of what have been reported? Are my fears and worries real or imaginary? If they are real, what can I do about them? Try to contemplate also on the nature of the crisis you have experienced in the past. Understand that each one has a distinct start and end and may even exhibit a cyclical trend. Next one is accept and find solutions. Many of us are resistant to changes in our lives. What we must do is learn to accept that change will happen. Haven't you heard that the only constant in life is change? There is a lot of truth to that as we continually go through changes, whether good or bad. Accepting that changes are part of life can help us to relax and be more accepting. Try to look for the positive aspect and focus on the positives. No matter how dire a situation may be, there are always some positives you can find in it. Number five is give thanks. Having listed the positives you can think of, give thanks for the current situation as well as the things that you already have. For one, things could be a lot more worse. It won't be easy to be thankful in the face of harsh challenges. But focusing on what you do have instead of what you have lost will put you in a better position position to solve problems on hands than being in a self-pity and sorrowful state.
Number six is reach out to others. Do you know of people who might be badly affected by the crisis? Some may have lost their jobs because their companies were put out of business. Like what's happening all over the world at the moment. While others have suffered huge losses due to stock market crash. Maybe you can try to talk to them. Listen and if it is within your means, offer your help. However small it may be. Helping others who are less fortunate than you also helps you to put things in perspective. And who knows, they may be the ones who lend you a helping hand when the table is turned the next time. Number 7. Get enough sleep During stressful time, we are likely to skip on sleep, either voluntarily or not. But, in reality, you will need more quality sleep during stressful times than ever so that you can remain energetic, clear-headed, and focused to figure out your next steps. Number 8 is Limit Bad News Intake Being constantly fed with gloomy news is enough to make even a dog panic for no reason. Hearing bad news once is enough. Not 10 times of the same news in different versions from every gadget that you own. Number 9 is Get Close to Nature Finnish researchers found that spending time in your favorite outdoor area and woodlands are more relaxing and restorative than time spent in your favorite urban settings or city parks. Taking a mindful walk through the woods is also a great way to clear the mind and regain mental balance. Number 10 is to re-evaluate the meaning of your life. Tough times present hard but valuable lessons that force us to re-evaluate the meanings we have been attaching to our lives. Ask yourself, do the meanings and goals I've been living by before the crisis really worthwhile? Through this crisis, what are the things that I've found to be really important? And what are those that are not as precious as what I have once thought to be? The last but not the least, make changes to things that are within your control. Spending time worrying about something that you can't change isn't really worth the effort. Instead, focus on areas where you have agency. Suggest Holly Burton, a career coach for women in male-dominated industries. You may be stuck in a role you don't love at work, but you could probably work a few extra hours a week and take on a project that interests you. You could also schedule some proactive meetings with your boss to make an action plan to develop the skills you need to make a lateral move. She says, in most situations, whether they are career related or not, it's possible to take actions to make things better for yourself. Here's my final thoughts. More tragic changes such as death, lost our job, and many more will throw us off even worse. But when our brains are practiced on how to stay positive in negative situations, even tragedy or worse situation won't destroy us. With the power of positive thinking, we can learn to put negative situations in perspective and to deal with them as they arise. Thank you so much guys for watching this video and thank you so much for tuning till the end. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and share it among your friends if you like this video. God bless and see you again guys in my next one.